have just left Chamberlain, uh, South Dakota, where we had a wonderful meal together after we got to stop and Isaiah took a dip in the Missouri River and Beth and I got to put our feet in. It's been a pretty special day because Isaiah, Isaiah has joined the team and uh, we are on our way now to Eagle Butte, South Dakota, where we have um, a sweat lodge ceremony with our new Lakota friends tomorrow and we're extremely humbled and grateful and really excited looking for it looking forward to it and this morning we had an eagle um, fly right over the car when Beth and I had left super early from Cedar Rapids um, to start this journey today and we stopped in Sioux Falls which is where we picked up Isaiah and Beth met up with an old friend yeah I met up with a, an old friend that I went to music school with Eastman School of Music I met up with Jeffrey Jeffrey Paul, who's a principal oboe with the Sioux Falls Symphony, and I hadn't seen him in over 20 years, and it's just amazing um, to, him to reconnect with people from the past and uh, um, just add that to this, this incredible journey and, and sharing it with the people of the present and then the people of the future and the, at Eagle Butte, and I'm really looking forward to the ceremony tomorrow welcomed into the community and, and um, to be a part of this. It's a very great honor for me and I'm truly looking forward to it. It's been a wonderful, wonderful day and wonderful to meet Isaiah finally in person, to have him join us and to experience these things with him as well. Um, just a fantastic day. Mm -hmm. Jenny said driving. I don't know, did you mention driving? Driving in this incredible landscape right now. Yeah, look, we're, we're just awestruck right now with the South Dakota landscape and we have this incredible incredible sunset that is just welcoming us into our friend Joseph's territory. He's awaiting, he's invited us into his lodging for the night. We have to wake up at 4.30 um, for a sweat at 5 and we're just really truly looking forward to it. And your friend, actually, he's he's done a lot of uh, yeah. work with Indigenous youth in the reservations around South yeah. Dakota, which I was really um, very impressed in. Yeah. And, and, and as a musician myself, a cellist, you know, you're always trying to find ways of connecting, uh, bridging, bridging the heart with, you know, what's happening around the world and, and what really truly means to each and every, means both to, to us um, and how we can connect to uh, music. And so Jeffrey um, and a number of his colleagues have been going into different um, communities in South Dakota and working with um, uh, Native American youth in, uh, I guess, composing, uh, helping them to compose and create music um, and really connecting with themselves through music in, in new ways. Um, and it's been extremely powerful and, uh, again, Sioux Falls uh, Symphony, I, I believe it's through that, but I'm not entirely sure, but Jeffrey Paul is his name. And, similar to the work that my brother and friends do up in uh, Northern Turtle Island. So I'm just in love with all the artists around Turtle Island we're discovering, such as Isaiah and the amazing, incredible, amazing oil paintings he does. You know, I was saying earlier, I think it was Louis Rail who said, my people will sleep for a hundred years and it will be the artists that help bring their spirit back. Quote me, it's something beautiful like that. And I really think it's true, whether it's music, whether it's art, um, we were talking about just the, the vibration, the harmony, how it's all coming together for healing. I just think that's a, just incredible. So what a beautiful surprise, again, divine timing to meet your friend, Beth. Absolutely. <laughs> Everything Absolutely. is just, the way this journey is unfolding, it's, uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised it's going to be as magical as it is. 